Welcome to today's DDRX. Our anchoring scripture is Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thought of peace, not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. I've been telling you don't lose hope. And we looked at the differences between hope and faith. Hope talks about future, faith talks about now. The question is, how do we hope? How can we actually hope? And I want to be talking to you in the next few days on so how you can hope, how you can develop your hope. The first one is hold on to God's promises. If you hold on to something long enough, then it will hold on to you. We read about Elizabeth and Ezekiah. They held on to God. Even though they had a delay in childbearing, in Luke 1, 6, the Bible says, And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. They heard on, and the Lord surprised them. God gave them a child of destiny. Psalm 92, 12 to 14 says, The righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. They shall be fresh and flourishing. So what the Bible is telling us here is that, you know, that if you really hold on to God, God compares you to a Lebanon cedar trees. And these Lebanon cedar trees, they can grow up to 130 feet. You know, they are seen as symbol of wealth, of power, and of strength. So God is promising to make the righteous strong, stable, and worthy. Just open to God. Locate God's promises for your life and hold on to them. You know, God's words are yea and amen. They don't change. You know, don't hold on to the government because our government may change. Don't hold on to people because people may let you down. Don't hold on to science because science may disappoint you. And that's what we are seeing today in this crisis. You know, though, if it's, you know, it, man's word can lose its power, but God's promises never lose its power. I want you to hold on to God's promises today, and that will grow your hope. Thank you. See you tomorrow.